Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Slip Tier 20 and welcome back to Black Ops 2 Zombies. Today's challenge, we're doing the classic perk challenge, so shout out to Defly, Defly. I do apologize if I mispronounced that, you can yell at me in the comments. But basically what that means, it's just like our Jug speedrun challenge, we have to get all four classic perks, so Jug, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, and Double Tap. So we will have the same rules, so we won't use any type of like bank system or perma perks, and we're gonna limit our maps. So the only maps that we will not have is Town and Farm, because those two would be pretty easy, they're pretty small, that sort of stuff. It's not much of a challenge in my opinion. And the last one is actually going to be Maw of the Dead, mainly because it does not have any quick revive whatsoever. I was originally thinking that we could use Deadshot for Maw of the Dead, but then I was like, nah, it's the classic 4 perk challenge, not classic 3 perks plus Deadshot, so... So I think the easiest maps that we're going to have will probably be most likely obviously buried, but I think Origins will be like the next one in my opinion. And the hardest ones will obviously one be Nuketown because we have to wait for every perk to drop. But second, I think would be Die Rise personally, mainly because I just have no clue where the elevators usually are. Transit might be a tough one, but I don't think it's going to be too tough. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm missing the bus. No, 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 please, please, please. Oh boy, I really kind of jepped it up this time. God, denizens are so creepy, man. Alright, let's see if we can get a little, little ladder system inside here. Yes, we got a ladder. Let's go. This will be perfect for when we go for the power. We can just jump back into the bus and not have to worry so much about like, oh no, we gotta wait for the bus to come and then try to like juke around all the zombies. Ooh, this insta kill would be perfect for points as well. You see, I would hit the box, but I don't think it would be that useful. So we're just gonna try to save up our points at the moment since we have the uh, bolt right here. I do kind of hate how in Black Ops 3 they removed the uh, kind of like OG look of the cult. They had that like red dot sight. I also hate how they removed the grenade launcher as well. For like zombies wise at least. Alright, let's make our way onto the bus. Let's kill this guy because he's trying to get in without a bus ticket. Let's see, we could get double tap right now, but I'm probably going to try to save my points for now. Especially since the fact that we're going to need another gun and I think I'm going to buy the AK personally. So that way we can have that second gun. So Ted, we can get out of here. We don't need to stay here too much longer. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? You're going to take a while. I know that. Oh, never mind. You did not take too long as I thought. Oh boy, we're gonna have to buy another gun. I ran out of ammo and there's a zombie here. Okay, and here it is. Let's go buy the AK and let's go... You know what? Let's trade out the Colt so that way we have a gun. And then we can just jump back, buy some ammo with the B23R and whatnot. Alright, let's see. We got the handle right here. Let's kill this zombie and let's continue building. And then now we gotta find the last part, which I hate to find because it's just such a bright room. Luckily, I just saw that. I barely saw that, I'm gonna be honest. But I hate how bright this room is. Oh shit, Ted's leaving. We gotta go, we gotta go. Turbine, go. Alright, Ted, don't fail me now. He failed me. Help, help, help. Woo. Okay, I barely made it. Oh my god. Ted, I do not like you. You know, I remember me and my friends when we played transit, we would just camp on top of the bus and just try not to fall off, but just we get so surrounded by all the zombies. I was just climbing up and it's like, do do do, he's over here. Oh no, help revive me. Ah, uh, good times, good times. I'm not gonna try to buy the bank so that way we can get as much points as we can. Just open up less stores. So we should be able to get the jug right now. All right, give me that lovely little juggernog. You know, I wish I was one of those, like, lucky few people that had the, uh, Juggernaut mini fridge. Although, I guess if I ever became, like, rich enough, like, I don't think you'd have to be rich rich, but at least have a good bit of spending money, I would hire somebody to make, like, a custom actual fridge. That's kind of like what they have at the, uh, Call of Duty offices right now, where it's like a IRL jug machine. And just, I would have that in my office. Although, I guess, like, the main thing that I would put inside of it would probably be, like, Coca-Cola cans, just to make it as close as possible. But I'd probably throw in some other stuff. Honestly, I'm not too much of a fan of, like, Coca-Cola in general, so... Maybe Double Tap would work better, because I do love orange soda, and it's pretty close. I'm not too sure. It'd be, like, a work in progress type of thing. Just have to plan it out. Ooh, Max Ammo, I'm taking that. And we're gonna try to hop on here. Okay. Alright, let's reload this bad boy. Holy Christ. 
Woo! This is what I was talking about with the whole, like, zombies would climb up with my friends. Although we would be, like, round 15 doing this stuff, so it's, like, so much worse. Alright, we're gonna kind of have to be careful here. It's been a while since I've done this, but we kind of gotta go left, right, left, right, that sort of stuff. Oh, crap, I forgot to jump at that part. No, 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 no. Bus, please, no. Ah, uh, we're not gonna catch up to this. It's already gone. God, I hate denizens. You know, I remember when they put that sound in Mob of the Dead and a lot of people were like, No, 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 no. Please don't, please don't. I don't blame them. All right, we just need enough points to get double tap. So we'll need about 2,750 if I'm not mistaken. Because I think that one door just costs 750. Ooh, insta kill. Perfect. You know, I'm gonna be honest. This is not bad time for transit wise. We're about 15 minutes. So by the time we get double tap, it will probably be closer to 16. Well, I fell off again. All right, we're still good, though. We're making pretty great time, like I said. So let's make our way upstairs by double tap. And I'm going to put my finger on the button and time. All right, 1629. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave that in. All right, we got to make our way to die rise now. Ah, Die Rise, my least favorite map. Although I will be honest, it has the most beautiful like skybox out of every single Call of Duty map ever. That much I cannot lie about. Like it is gorgeous. Like I don't think there has been much of a uh, like more gorgeous skybox than this. Maybe Revelations, but I could be mixing what I'm actually imagining and what's reality. All right, let's make our way out here. Quick Revive should be down here. So let's open up this door, see if we can spot it. Ah, nah, it's another layer down, so kind of got to wait. Although I will try to get this PDW once we get enough points for it. But we should probably buy the M14 first, just get that extra point gun damage. All right, let's get our first perk, which is Quick the Revive. And then the next best perk would probably, or not best perk, the next best gun would probably be the PDW right here. Solid damage, solid points, solid ammo too. There we go, we can buy it, let's go. And then I think I'm going to make my way down this elevator, get the power turn on, try to save it for a jug, that sort of stuff. Now, I know this has been kind of run into the ground, but I do wish they did not do that stupid, like, tease with, uh, PhD Flopper. Like, you're gonna do the only map, basically, that needs PhD and not have it. Alright, I'm gonna first try to see if I can find that, uh, Slicko Fire part, just so that way we can get that out of the way. Ooh, double points. Definitely will take you. Alright, can't seem to find a part, so it might be mainly downstairs, but no jug! Ah, oh, that was so dirty. We almost had jug straight away right there. Oh, well, I can wait. Oh, I just realized we're gonna have to take care of, like, the jumping jacks. I hate those guys. Alright, we're gonna have to be very careful. Okay, this sounds like it's going up. Let's bu 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 There we go. I don't think that was even English right there. I was trying to say let's bye bye bye, but forgot the, uh, well, rest of the word there. Ooh, instant kill will take you, please. And let's see, is there a part around here? I don't think so, but let's see what perk you are supposed to be. You're gonna take a while to come down. Hopefully it's double tap, get that out of the way, you know? Or speed cola. Gonna be one of the two. I'm gonna put my money on it, though, saying it's double tap. Oh, no, you'll kick. Well... Whoever bid against me, congrats, you get, uh, well, I guess my imaginary money. Man, I have no clue where I'm going. Ooh, max ammo. Oh, there's a part right here. And then we got one more part, and we should have the Slicker Fire built. Been a long, long time since I built this bad boy. Thing is, it's been, like, a long time since I actually, like, legit played, uh, Dire- No, 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 stuck, stuck, ooh, okay. I was gonna say, been a long time since I played Diarize, like, legitly. Not including the, uh, speedrun challenge that we had. Like, legit just mean actually sat down, played Diarize, and not do any challenges or whatsoever. I do remember, though, playing this map a lot with my uncle, mainly because this was, like, the only map he had when we played, like, online. Good times, good times. I kind of sucked at the, uh, game when I was younger, so he mainly carried me. But we would camp on the, uh, sort of rooftops type of thing, and just... At ANs and whatnot, and just try to survive as long as we can. And we make it pretty far, honestly, which is surprising with how this map is. So what I'm going to do here is kind of take this elevator up so that way we can get some other perks. Well, now I got to wait for the elevator to go up now. You know, it's crazy to me that people can like do the Easter egg in like under 10 minutes on this map, if I remember correctly. It's just... It's like such a small, low, or not small, but like a low time that it just doesn't seem real. All right, we're going to have to see what that perk is and what these perks will be. I see who's who right there. So I'm betting my left shoe that either Speed Cola or 
No, Speak Hoy would probably be in the other, other elevator that's around there. Now we just need to know what this perk is, which should be either Double Tap or Speed Cola. Yep, Double Tap. Let's buy it. All right, we're going to have to play this safely. There we go. And now we're just going to need enough points in order to get Speed Cola, and we should be good to go. Oh boy, it's the jumping jack time. I'm just gonna use this slick of fire. It's been a while since I used it. You know, it's kind of hard for me to hear like Marlton the same way because he's the same guy who voices like Robin from Teen Titans. And I kind of hate that fact because it's like, it's hard for me to hear him as anything but like either Marlton or Robin. All right, elevator, take me upwards. It always scares me when going up and down the elevators because it's like, I feel like I'm gonna get smushed. Even though I know it's gonna stop before you get smushed like just before it goes fully up but like i don't know why it just feels like there's that gonna be that one chance it just goes fully up and i'm not gonna notice again i know that's like impossible oh man it missed us but like still well it's on a floor over here let's see ah oh, it's leaving lower what the hell all right we gotta make our way to the next floor down because apparently it just wants to keep going down and down and down and down ah damn you all right i'm gonna kind of wait for it i'm not gonna try to uh do anything stupid here. Oh, quick. Bye. There we go. Okay. And time. 12, 12. Not bad. Not bad. But let's go to our next map, which would be Barry. That one I feel like will be pretty fast too. All right, Barry. I'm not going to lie with how fast we had Diorize be. I'm kind of scared that this will be kind of like a close one between Buried and Diorize. But I guess we'll see what ends up happening. All right, let's see if we're going to be lucky enough to get the booze again. So please, Leroy, resummon it. Ah, he did not resummon it. We got to go back to the saloon. All right, give me that little jug right there. And let's go break open jug. All right, let's see if I can do this. You kind of got to line him up up in such a way where you can get the most amount of points i think that's good all right leroy coming in from the 40 to the 30 to the 20 touchdown all right we can take this time we can go run around get some wall weapons build them that sort of stuff i'm probably gonna grab the pdw wall buy and the an main because those are like two great guns itself i love the pdw personally like outside of zombies like within multiplayer wise was mainly like my main to go gun type of thing one of my first few guns that i got gold too i mean then again i don't really have too many guns gold but i do have like probably six maybe seven oh there's like 32 or something like that in the whole entire uh, multiplayer or more than that i don't even know i also remember using the uh snipers as well a lot mainly the dsr 50 like even post patch where it, like only does good damage above the body type of thing like i just like using it i don't know why there's just no reason but let's buy the pdw and we should probably turn on power start getting jug and whatnot all right let's get jugroni right here give me that and let's build a trample steam as that will be useful for getting to pack a punch or not pack a punch getting to double tap i'm so used to trying to get to pack a punch so often on this map like early on you know i remember there's this weird thing you can do with the crates over here let's see if i can do it but it's like it's a weird glitch where if you dolphin dive correctly, you kind of get stuck a little bit on the crate itself. So let's see if we can do that. Yes, we did it. Holy Christ, I did not expect to do that. So yeah, it's a weird glitch. It doesn't actually make you invulnerable, but you kind of just get stuck there. Now let's see if I remember how to build this thing. I think this is the right part. And it was. Let's go. Let's go grab the rest of them. I know the final two are going to be up here, so thankfully I remember that much. It's always that motorized piece that I just forget about. So I'm like, oh, is this it or is it part of the... Uh, that arm machine thing. All right, let's grab the last part right here and make our way back to the building station. Kill the zombie, kill that one. And there we go. All right, we should be pretty close. Hopefully it's not going to take too much longer. Should only be a couple more minutes before we get the uh, last few perks that we need. All right, we can get speed cola. Let's make our way up there. And then we just got to worry about double tap. Okay, we should have enough now for double tap. Let's quickly run over there so that we we're not wasting enough time. But this definitely will be pretty much one of the fastest time we're going to have. Which, to be honest, I'm not that surprised as it is buried and it is pretty easy to get like points and perks and all that stuff but who knows we might have some competition and we buy double tap and we end the time now 
There we go. 919. Not bad. That's pretty good. Now, I am intrigued to see what the witches will give us. Hopefully a good perk, even though we don't need it right now because we're about doing it here soon. Just more so curiosity, you know? All right, there's a perk bottle and mule kick. Ew. All right, there's only one place to go now, and that's straight to Nuketown. All right, Nuketown. This map is either gonna make me or break me. Because my mental stability cannot handle trying to get Jug around 16. But you know what? We did it once before. We can do it again. Oh, please don't be in the garage. Why? I hate you being in the garage. I just want to let you know that quick revive. You know, I know that Nuketown is not like a lot of people's top favorites. But honestly, it's one of my personal ones. I don't know. It's just, it's just that map that... I just enjoy because it has that difficulty factor to it while being a small map type of thing. You don't have to really go around turning on power and whatnot. And that it just has like a lot of RNG to it personally. Like you have to be lucky type of thing. And I don't know. That's just that's just what makes it interesting to me. Again, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. But what I think I'm going to do is buy the M14 off the wall here so that we're able to just get some extra points. And then, who made this map? I think it's Jimmy Zelensky. I think he was the one that was still in office at the time. But I hope that Mr. Zelensky is kind enough to us today, where he will allow us to have Jug early on, and not have us wait till round 16. Alright, there's the siren going off, saying we have a perk coming in. Oh, Mr. Treyarch Gods, please don't screw me over. I land it back here, can I spot it? No, I gotta... I gotta have a good angle in order to see it. Do you know what? We're going in. We're gonna see. Oh, it's Jug! Holy Christ! Yes, 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 yes! Thank you very much! Oh, this could not have been any more perfect. Ooh, Max Sammo! Definitely will take you. You're great for points. I think I'm gonna try to save up for, like, the, uh, Bowie Knife or the Galvan Knuckles. Just so that way we have something else to our advantage for getting points-wise. Alright, what I'm gonna do is kind of, like, train them up a little bit. Just so that way I can just shoot into them, get some points, and... Just kind of have that be my main strategy for now. Ooh, we got double points over there. That would be perfect. Hang on. And we got Max Sam on top of all this. Yes, please. Ooh, the points we're going to get from this. All right, Galva Knuckles. Gotta get you. It has been a while since I've had Galva Knuckles. I remember playing town a lot with my friends where I would just... I would basically just save up my points. Like, use the MP5 in 1911 and just... Nice zombie, save up for the Galvan Knuckle, and obviously get Jug beforehand, but save up for the Galvan Knuckles, use that for, like, majority of my weapon for, like, up to round 14, and then use, like, the 1911 Pack-a-Punch, and then maybe hit the box a few times, try to get, like, the Ray Gun, the Ray Gun Mark II, or even the RPD. I love the RPD. Woo, we're getting our next perk. Hopefully, it's one of the main two that we need and not Pack-a-Punch. Even though Pack-a-Punch would be good, I kind of don't need it for this challenge. But it does look like it's going to the yellow house, so we will have to see what it is. And it is Pack-a-Punch. You know what? That's kind of what I get. I did say I hope it's not Pack-a-Punch, and, you know, the game has to prove me wrong. You see, my whole main thing right now is I need to just kill zombies as fast as possible, but... Kind of difficult to do so when it just takes a while for them to spawn in most of the time. Ooh, we got the low, low python right here. Definitely gonna keep you. You know, I do wish that we did see, like, the return of the Galvan Knuckles in Black Ops 3. Because I think they're in Black Ops 4, if I'm not mistaken. But we didn't get to see them at all in Black Ops 3. Then again, it would be a bit too overpowered because these things were god tier to have. Like, especially if you got them early on. All right, let's hit the box, see if we can get something good. Hopefully, like the Reagan or something. You know, I was joking when I said that. I did not expect us to actually get the ray gun. I mean, I'll take it. I gladly will take it. All right, let's see what other gun we get. Hopefully, the RPD. I would love that. Ah, I tried to make it work that time. We got the DSR. You know, we should not be too far off. We should be at round 16 with all four perks here soon. Hopefully in a few minutes, but I would say probably around that 20 minute mark. Mainly because that's how long it took last time. So I pack punched the python, mainly because I figured that would be pretty good to have for like when our galvan knuckles stop working. Because the Reagan is just going to do the same amount of damage regardless when it comes to, uh... Higher rounds, so it's not necessary to pack a punch it, so we can just hold off till we run out of ammo. But the python, that isn't necessary to pack a punch. Oh my god, I was not paying attention, I got too cocky. Oh no. 
All right, we're gonna have to pull out the ray gun for this. All right, let's go through here. See if we can just cheese it a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ooh, okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Just try to jump out the window right now. Okay. We can make our way to Jug. That will give us enough time to just take a breather, not be too stressed. We will have to go get quick revive, though, which is the worst part of this. Oh, nuke. Yes. Okay. Grabbing that. And then we're going in. Oh, crap. I did that too early. Okay. Buy quick revive. And then we're going to go back down through here. Yeah, I got a little too cocky there. I tried to uh, just knife them and then run away, but couldn't do it in time. Could not do it in time. I think I'm going to stick with the ray gun now and then use the python when I turn around just to quickly kill them. Make it a little easier on ourselves. All right, this round, we should get our next perk, I hope. You know what? Let's do a prediction. I'm going to say it's going to be speed cooler. Now I feel like it's going to be double tap. But you know what? I'm a man of my word. I'm going to say it's going to be speed cooler and we're going to stick by it. Oh, no, no, no. We're trapped again. God damn it. Ah, uh, okay. That is the second time we went down. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to be extra, extra careful as this will be our last quick revive. Ooh, we got an insta kill over there. That would be perfect. Ooh, nuke. Definitely will take that. So I guess I was mistaken. It looks like it wasn't gonna be this round that we're gonna have a uh, perk come down. Although I will keep the Reagan now for now, main because I'm just, I'm just terrified. But we are having a perk drop now. Let's hope that it's something good. I mean, then again, it's only gonna be double tap or speed cola, so... I don't know, whichever one will be good for us. Sally does not seem like it's spawned back here, so we're gonna have to exit out here when we can. So we're gonna try to leave now. Let's see, not around here. It's probably gonna be near the yellow house around at the back. We have pack a punch and double tap. All right, I'll take it. Ah, this is definitely not the house that we need to be in, especially with the fact that we have a open doorway here. All right, all we have to do is just survive a couple of rounds. I'm gonna kind of lean forward in my little gaming chair here. Okay, we might have to pack a punch to ray gun here soon. Or hope that it's gonna be a, a, a speed cool around this round. Oh, this is getting very stressful. I do not like this whatsoever. Oh, yes, speed cool is dropping. Okay, we gotta survive. We just gotta survive. That's all we gotta do. Oh, crap, we're gonna get ourselves killed here. Where is it dropping? Please be nearby. That does not sound like a drop nearby. Crap. All right, screw it. We're going out. We're going out. Okay, it's not there. Please be like right here. Ah, oh, it's upstairs. All right, you know what? We're going for it. And we buy speed cola and we end the time now. All right, 2404. That's not bad for Nuketown, you know? I don't think Origins is going to be that long, but we're going to have to see. So let's make our way to Origins now. Ah, Origins, a fan favorite. All right, well, we all know the first step is turn on the generators. I think I'm just going to follow the path of like one, three, four. And then we're just going to have to get lucky when it comes to getting double tap. All right, I think I'm going to buy the m14 that would be pretty good to have and then we'll use that for the double points that we're gonna grab at like round three or four somewhere around there Ooh, we got max ammo let's go you know i do have one question where did the robot go that like stomped on top of us because like it's not generator two three robot because it never stomps through this like part of the map and we just don't see it again like the uh original robot that i'm talking about during the uh cut scene and that starts off when the map starts all right we're gonna have to break on out here because we are getting a bit stuck Ooh, hang on let's uh kind of scoot around this pick this bad boy up kind of knife a few zombies Ooh, and an insta kill perfect and we can grab the nuke now and let's see is the part here no let's quickly check downstairs while we have time okay it's downstairs we should be good though i don't think we'll be uh dying soon because we have insta kill and let's make our way over here i'm gonna buy the ak i'm gonna buy the ak that's a good gun to have and then i think i'm gonna probably have to wait mainly when we're good to start this generator because last thing I want to do is start it and we go down. Ooh, double points. Yes, please. All right, let's start it. All right, let's start making our way out of here since we have a lot of points right now. Ooh, that's a zombie. But we have a lot of points. That should mean we should be pretty good to just get ourselves some Juggernaut. I do wish that we had Double Tap as a physical perk, but... We're gonna try to use the Wonder Fist for that. You know, I realized this was probably not the smartest idea to do to have a generator activated in the middle of round four, especially since this is like one of the most common ways I go down. Ooh, insta kill. All right, we can take a shot at trying to get double tap now. So, you know what? 
I'm gonna take that shot. Is it a slim shot? Yes, yes it is. But you don't know. Ew, mule kick. No thank you. Alright, let's make our way back to Gen 3. Try to get ourselves some speed cola. And then we can run back and just hit the machine, the Wonder Fizz, for uh, double tap. And there we go. We got ourselves some speed. Alright, we're gonna need to buy some ammo. Because we're going to go down if we don't. And I did not grab any ammo. So we're just gonna keep on running, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna go buy the B23R. That would be a... Uh, Probably a good gun to have. You know, it's kind of strange. Depending on what map you play on, the B23R changes its price so much. Because, like, on Transit, it's $1,000. On Mile of the Dead, it's only $900. And Origins, it's, like, $750. Like, personally, to me, that makes zero sense on, like, why they did so much, like, fluctuation with the b23r price and it's like it's the only gun that i can think of that actually changes its price like that all right let's see if we're lucky enough hit the perka cola machine Ooh, zombie blood take you and oh that's double tap all right and we can end the time now 821 all right i'm gonna have to go through the uh go through my times and see where we stand as far as each map goes because I do not remember what they were and I forgot to jot it down again. Alright, so we're back and we have the lovely little times. And as expected, in 5th place, we have Nuketown with a time of 24 minutes and 4 seconds. Coming in at 4th place is Transit with 16 minutes and 29 seconds. So, not bad personally. I think we could have gotten a smidgen faster, but that depends on our RNG, you know? Coming in 3rd place, we have Diorize with a total of 12 minutes and 12 seconds, which is pretty nice. We got a pretty kind of even right there, 12-12, so make a wish, you guys. Surprisingly, for 2nd place, we have Buried with 9 minutes and 19 seconds. Which, honestly, I feel like we could have gotten faster, but that has nothing on Origins, which comes at first place at 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Which, honestly, that is surprising how fast we were able to do Origins. Like, I feel like we could have gotten it faster if we had better RNG, but that is really good for only, what? two hits on the winter fist machine but that will do it for this challenge so again thank you to definitely defly again i apologize if i butcher it please shout at me in the comment section being like hey this is how you pronounce it you dummy and yeah so without the way i thank you guys for watching and would appreciate it if you like comment subscribe and without further ado i will see you guys next time Bye bye